So the last thing I wanted to ask you, and uh, admittedly, I, I'm not really following this very closely, but I'm, I'm just curious um, because the ETH ETFs are supposed to be launching soon, mm -hmm. and I can't really find any information that suggests that the Bitcoin ETFs have been good or bad for Bitcoin price. Um, if anything, it seems like it might have been bad for the Bitcoin price, diverting uh, purchase, uh, buys away from the actual spot price. Have you uh, seen anything about it? Yeah, no, I haven't seen any comprehensive studies on it. Um, the main thing I've read, at least in, in Twitter, is people's dissatisfaction with the ETFs just because there's so many loading costs and the cost of owning uh, anything other than spot is just simply too too high. It's not really worth uh, worth the cost. But if you're holding a Roth IRA and you're not with one of the institutions that offers direct spot exposure, then people people see these uh, these ETFs as a great opportunity to gain some 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 exposure to crypto. Although you might argue that uh, just buying Coinbase might be a good proxy for the crypto market as well. I'm also scared about like. Um... To me, like I don't like the mix of crypto and TradFi. Like I don't want mm. the well. Well, my only proxies really for that is like Tesla, Ark, Ark Investment Trust, whatever. That's where I'm like okay. But then they have this whole um, exponential age play, right? Ark is doing uh, bioengineering and uh, robotics and automated cars and the whole thing. So I, I've that I like. But Coinbase as a play for crypto, I, I'm almost super super nervous. I, and plus in Canada. We have um, we have very affordable Bitcoin ETFs, so uh, I just buy calls on those. Mm -hmm. um, but I wonder because ETH is like no one was talking. I I haven't heard about ETH in a long time. I've been hearing about Solana and Bitcoin. Yeah, uh, true. Where's the ETH story? Like, yeah, what's the just because it's ETH? the? I mean, it's still the second largest traded asset out there. So I think it was a matter of time before <clears throat> somebody added some exposure to to Ethereum. But it's interesting that it. It diverted from the rest of the um, from the rest of the crypto assets and actually sold off when that when that news um, when that news came out. Mm. If I recall, ETH was down quite a bit compared to the rest of the um, rest of the pairs that were selling off. <clears throat> of course, that's not the case anymore. Obviously, that mean reverted. Well, that's it. Uh, we'll see what the uh, ETH ETF does, and um, but. The fees for transacting in ETH to me make it completely unusable. I don't understand why anyone uses it, and so you'll not, you're not going to hear me sing the praises of uh, of ETH. But I'll be happy for anyone who does make money on it. Agreed, agreed. As long as the upside is much greater than the fees you're going to pay for those uh, for those ETFs, then then it seems well worth it. So enjoy the bull market in crypto for as long as it lasts.